What is going on Adventure Nation? We're leaving the Gulf of Gorge campgrounds here in Hot Springs, Arkansas and continuing our trek west. This is the Motorhome Experiment. If you are coming to Hot Springs, Arkansas, Gulf of Gorge Campground is the place to stay. It is literally so five handy. minutes. Yeah, so handy to town and also so pretty. So much pretty scenery and there's also trails just right here on the campground that you can take even towards uh, the city if you want to hike all the way there. Yeah, you can actually hike from here to the water tower where we were yesterday. So that's, that's kind of cool. And you can go out of the campground and go right to go to the city to get to the, I think it's the south end of the city, or you can turn left out of the campground and get to the north end of the city. It's kind of cool. You kind of loop around the mountain to get there. So that's kind of nice. But we're heading west to Las Vegas now. Uh, we got some stops along the way. We're kind of heading north and west uh, through Oklahoma City and across Route 66. So. Let's get rolling and we'll talk about the campground while we're on our way. All right, Lori, before it gets too loud out there, do you want to go over the Gulf of Gorge campground just a little bit? So the campground, I love this campground. It was, it's small, so it doesn't fit a lot of rigs. Extremely busy. We're still out of season and it's extremely busy. Uh, but the spots themselves, most of them, I would say not all of them, most of them are very long, so it will accommodate like very, we saw uh, tours and Allegro buses, so it accommodates very big uh, RVs. It was $3 a night, full hookups, that, that's very rare in National Park. Usually National Park is dispersed camping or dry camping, and this one was uh, full hookups, that was a plus. And our side backed into this little creek, uh, that it's very very pretty so it's only one row obviously everybody tries to in that row so sometimes hard to get in we were lucky enough that there was two spots there when we arrived and uh, totally love the the campground bathrooms I don't know about the bathrooms I didn't go they were immaculate so they're absolutely fine. immaculate so and we saw people working all the time the campos the rangers and all that they were making the they campground. were on it on it every single day just making it better and cleaning it all the time so that was nice to see We are just rolling up Highway 71. Is it? Yes. 71 into Fort Smith, Arkansas. One of the things that we noticed is there is a ton of pawn shops here. I don't know what's going on with that. Might be the area of town. Might be just this area of town, but ton of pawn shops. And we're just gonna roll through Fort Smith and jump on 40 and head towards Oklahoma City. There is a Chaffee Barbershop Museum here where Elvis got his first army haircut, but we're just gonna pass on that, Lori, sorry. That was a cool thing, look at that. Pretty cool. But yeah, not gonna stop, Lori, sorry. I don't care how much you kick and scream, not gonna happen. My heart is broken. I know your heart's broken. We're gonna have to save it for next time. Arkansas, but it's time to make another change to a different state. And this time, welcome to Oklahoma. Oklahoma. This is over the excellence. Excellence of what? That's very broad. I did see the play Oklahoma once back a long time ago. I don't know if it was in high school or what, but I remember the play Oklahoma. It was actually pretty good. We did a quick overnight last night at Bass Pro Shops here near downtown OKC. We're gonna do a quick breakfast and then head on down the road. Today's Thanksgiving day, actually, so nothing is gonna be open. Happy Thanksgiving, although you guys will see this way after Thanksgiving. We overnighted here at the Bass Pro Shops in Oklahoma City. 
Here's the RV parking, by the way, and that's the Bass Pro Shops over there on the other side of the road. So you actually come in underneath the road to get over here. And what's really annoying is, again, a bunch of cars were parked in here. And the only four spots in this entire parking lot that is for RVs, there's cars, while well, there's still one truck parked there, there was another car that just left. Anyways, this memorial, we didn't realize we were parked right next to it until we woke up this morning but it looks really, really cool, so we're gonna check it out. We are not gonna get to see the Oklahoma City Memorial, which is uh, the memorial for the Oklahoma City bombing, unfortunately, because today's Thanksgiving, but this looks amazing. This little area right here is beautiful. We'll have to find out more information about the memorial here in just a second. It's not just a memorial. It's like a whole mall with restaurants and bars and shopping. It's a lot of little canals like this. Everything's going to be closed today on Thanksgiving Day. Everything is empty because it's Thanksgiving Day. I think we're the only ones that are not cooking at home Thanksgiving dinner. Most other people are, yeah, with family and friends. Beautiful area. Oh, yeah, there you go. Toby Keith, I love this bar and grill. This area here is very reminiscent of the San Antonio River Walk and a little bit like the Indianapolis Canal Walk. Very pretty right here. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. Got some mini golf going on. I think we should bring our own golf clubs. Yeah, we have yes. our putters. Yeah, and just put around, just like jump the fence because everything is closed. So, we just... so what you're saying is you never want to be allowed back in Oklahoma City again? No, not Oklahoma, <laughs> just this place. Just this place. Very cool. Oh, see, they do have boats. I'll bet the lights are very pretty here at night. Yes. So we just did a quick walk around Bricktown there. Very cool. The little river walk here is kind of neat. They do have water taxis that run on busier days. Right now, through the holiday season, Thursday through Sundays, they're showing that they're doing free water taxi rides, so that's kind of cool. And now we're just gonna head back to the RV and yeah. roll on down the road. From here to Kingman, Arizona, before we cut up to Las Vegas, we're gonna try and stay on Route 66 as much as possible. Interstate 40 takes up uh, a somewhat of a large portion of that, but as much as we can, we're gonna stay on Route 66, barring no low bridges, underweight bridges. And just to move in and to more, obstacles to more staff it's like just to finish the breakdown i think we wish i wish we were here when there was people because yeah. it looks so cool and everything like open seeing everything open so we're gonna have to keep it in our list for the next time we're here because it looks like it looks like a really cool place for nighttime entertainment and great yes. place to grab something to eat all right we're gonna roll out of bass pro shops here in downtown oklahoma city and we're gonna find ourselves Route 66 and head west. If we can find it. This is going to be interesting because there's different maps all over the place with different routes. So we'll see what happens. But we're going to start here near downtown on 23rd Street and head across. A lot of Route 66 has been gobbled up by the interstate system. So a lot of it, you're just going to be on Route 40 but bits and pieces as we can dive off and on and check out little things along the way, we're gonna do that. Although supposedly we've been on Route 66 for a bit, that's the first sign we've seen over there, that brown one. Tiny little sign. Tiny little sign. You think they would have it marked everywhere here for Route 66. 
take advantage of that tourism dollar. We are on Route 66. We realize not all of Route 66 is gonna be awesome and incredible and have all kinds of cool stuff. But we're entering Yukon, Oklahoma right now. And Yukon, Oklahoma, for all you big country fans, is the home of none other than Garth Brooks. And you might even argue that Garth Brooks is kind of the guy that's brought, that was the first to bring country and rock and roll together. Because I even kind of like Garth Brooks. Except for that whole Chris Gaines thing. Garth, that wasn't, that wasn't cool, dude. The whole wig and everything, not, not cool. But Garth Brooks, he's cool. You don't know who Chris Gaines is, do you? Well, I know that Garth Brooks has his alter ego or something like yeah. that. So I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, Garth Brooks at one time created an alter ego called Chris Gaines. It was all about rock and roll, and it was not good. No, really, dude. Just take your half out of the middle. Kevin, if you're watching this, I know you'd like to be out here with us right now. I know you would. So we're on Route 66 here in Oklahoma. We're now just west of Weatherford, Oklahoma. But we've been following a couple of different, uh, not apps, but websites. And a lot of it's not marked very well, so we're gonna pop in here to the Love's Truck Stop and see if we can't find a actual map, paper map, uh, because we're not liking that whole app thing. And it's horribly marked. We should have that Route 66 should be really well marked. It's well marked inside of the towns, but once you get out of the town, they're basically like, screw you, we don't care. Okay, that wasn't a very productive stop at all. We did not get our map. Well, it was somewhat they productive. Tony, the guy in there, was awesome. He had all kinds of information on because Route 66. Sell them apps. But then I wind up with stuff I shouldn't be drinking. Lori's got stuff Lori's we shouldn't stuff. be. Well, she got iced tea. That's not bad. Yeah, it was just a bad stop. Look at that. We can't even see each other. It's all right. Ready? There you go. See, Route 66 right there. That's how they used to do it. He's actually wearing a sombrero. That's uh, pretty interesting. We stopped at the National Route 66 Museum in Elk City, Oklahoma. It is very, very cool. And if you can see, you can look around here. Very busy day. <laughs> but some restored old buildings from what we might see or experience in, in Route 66 days. Pretty cool. The old gas pump and old gas station over here. That's really cool there. It looks like you can go in and tour all the different little buildings. All the buildings are numbered. That's the entrance there. Doesn't say how much it is. It says it's closed yesterday and today. Open again tomorrow, but. Well, that was kind of a cool way to see the National Route 66 Museum if we couldn't get inside. And the cool thing was, is there was no one around to disturb, so that was cool. It would be neat to have seen that when it was open. We continue our trek towards Amarillo, Texas. As Lorena would call, it's actually Amarillo, I think. I know it's supposed to be Amarillo. Another one of those words that us English people just bastardize, but... We say Amarillo, Amarillo, Texas. We're in the U.S., that's why I'm criticized, but somebody gets it. Wow, another Spanish word that we just murder.
We are making a swing into Shamrock. Supposedly here on Route 66, there's been some movies filmed and some very distinctive things that people will know from the movie. So we're gonna swing in here. One, we know you guys will recognize. Well, especially if you have kids. I would say kids and uh, parents, basically. Yeah. So that's gonna be cool. We're gonna wait till it gets dark here because supposedly the Art Deco stuff here is really cool when it's lit up at night. So we are going to get a little bit of work done and kind of hang out until the sun sets. And then we may just roll off the road. We don't know yet. There but it is right there. I still want to see the daytime. And here is the one there on the left. So we're gonna pull over and see. One of the really cool things about this stop is they have Tesla superchargers. So see if I had my Tesla, I could be charging it right now. Lori taking a picture there. This has something to do with one of the movies that was filmed here. So we'll see if you guys recognize it. Well, no, it wasn't filmed here. Sorry, yes, yes. Uh, that was that's a little delusional. It was inspired by this place. Obviously, you can't film an animated picture here, but what the heck? Check this out. This is the you drop in, but that's how we're cafe, and this other here is the Conoco Station and Conoco Tower, and that is the one thing that you're going to recognize from the movie. And we'll take a shot of it from across the street, and you'll see what we're talking about. Very cool. When we drove by and I said it's open because somebody's inside, I don't think they're gonna pay much attention to us. <laughs> That's awesome. So kind of right about like this angle here somewhere if I got up a little bit higher, but you might recognize that. And I'll try to find a picture from the, the movie. And I'm not even gonna say it. Hopefully you guys will figure it out. Probably some of you guys are gonna Google that, so that's cheating. You know they're gonna cheat, Lori. How are you gonna cheat? They're gonna cheat because they're gonna Google it. That's Google, it spoils everything. By the time you see this video, just keep it rolling. You'll find out in about 30 seconds. That is a pretty cool old building there. I can't wait to see it lit up at night because it's supposed to be pretty cool with all the neon and stuff on it. So we'll see. done shooting the Conoco Tower, we're rolling off into the sunset. The next time you see us, we'll be in Amarillo, Texas. Unless you're talking to Lori, and then we'll be in Amarillo, Texas. Good morning. We woke up here in the Cracker Barrel in Amarillo. That place, that thing there, that's Ronnie Dunn's bus. You know, Ronnie Dunn is in Brooks and Dunn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he showed up last night. We partied. No, we didn't. I didn't know who he was till this morning. I had to look the bus up. But uh, it's a problem with the internet is everybody knows who you are and where you are. So, Ronnie Dunn, I, uh, another guy who's supposed to be something in the country world. And Since we don't really know who he is. I don't know who he is. Yeah, Lori and I are like, Eh. I just know he's had a 1.5 mil in Prevo. Yeah, <laughs> and we know he performs in Vegas quite a bit at the Caesars Palace, so. Oh, he does? Yeah, they do. We're gonna roll out of Cracker Barrel here, and Amarillo gotta say goodbye to Ronnie Dunn, hanging out with us here in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. We didn't see him, we just know it's his bus. We don't but even know if he's in there. We don't even know if he's in there. We didn't see anybody in there. It looked like it was driving itself, as a matter of fact. 
But we're gonna head over to an area here just outside of Amarillo that, that I'd never heard of, which isn't any great surprise or shock, but looks really cool. So we're gonna check that out before heading down the road. And I was just thinking of something quickly because I had a few people asking me about it lately, is service and stuff on the coach. We just turned 120,000 miles yesterday, which means we've put over 20,000 miles on the coach. And touch wood, well, it's just fake wood. Touch we've had wood. no issues with the coach. Like, literally none, folks. So we've had a bolt well, break here and I there say, or tiny things. Zero is like major, major issues. Major. That's the word, major. So, anyways, we're going to head down the road here and check this place out. It's gonna be pretty cool, I think. And if not, then we won't film it. We'll still film it. We'll still film it. Because if we're gonna experience it, you guys are gonna experience it. Looks like everybody else had the same idea we did today, Lori. Well, we have to remember it's a long weekend, so a lot of people have time off to do stuff like this. Yep. So we're here at what's called Palo Duro Canyon or Palo Duro State Park. And it is supposed to be Texas's answer to the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. Obviously probably not quite that big, but you get the point. And uh, it looked like a pretty cool place to come check out. So we're gonna do that. We still have our Texas Park State Pass available yes, to us. It's the only thing we've gone on any of state because at the beginning of this year, I was going to say last year, but no, it was the beginning of this year, we knew we were going to stay for two months in Texas and we're going to use a lot of their state parks. And this gives you entry fee to all their state parks and some deals also in the camping. Yeah, so we still have a, so I think still have, it. still have a free camp night coming to us, so that'll be cool. 50%. Oh, is that right? You buy one, get 50% off? You buy one, second one, 50% off. Cool, we'll take it. We don't know if we're staying yet. We're gonna check it out, see what happens. They have availability. First and of all. yeah, if the campground has availability. So, by the looks of this, Probably I'm not. saying no. <laughs> <laughs> As we suspected, it is full in here today. So it doesn't look like they have any campgrounds inside the park. But just outside here, there is an adventure park, zip lining place that has plenty of space so that's probably where we'll spend the night but we're gonna roll in and, and check it out and maybe do a quick hike or two came up to the visitor center here at Paladuro and checked out the hiking maps, biking maps and stuff like that. And uh, there's uh, a lot to do here. Just beautiful view from up here. All right, we decided that we're probably not gonna stay here for the night but we figured we drove around a little bit, checked the park out, and uh, figured we might as well go for a bike ride at least. So we're gonna do that now. Ready? All right, well, what we're discovering so far is this is not a smooth trail, and I am not gonna be able to film a whole lot here because riding this with one hand is not gonna be a good thing. This 
so what are you thinking so far of your bike? It's very pretty. You have water next to us. It has been so far good and that's because we have been going downhill. Now going back is going to be a lot of uphill. No. And you know it. You know we haven't it. been going uphill the whole time. We just came, look, that's downhill. Right there. Yeah, we we just came downhill a little bit. A little bit, a lot. So going back is a lot of uphill. She's probably right. I'm going to She'll be, be hating me later. Totally hating him and cursing him later. But look at the pretty stream. Let's enjoy while it lasts. <laughs> Oh, well, just probably skid it off of there. Are you all right? Yeah, just saying. Because this kick out. Little coccyx, little shot there. I think you uh, caught your tire on the side of this and it slid you out. You want to know the really crazy thing? The cool thing. Not crazy. It's crazy. crazy. It's cool. Thing. Is that we're in Texas. Palo Duro. Palo Duro Canyon in Texas. And we're drinking Hot Springs, Arkansas water that's 4,000 years old. That's crazy. Remember you saw us like pour it out of the faucet? Here it is. <sighs> no taste to it whatsoever. But if you don't see me vlogging anymore, you'll know it's because I died from 4,000 year old water. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, be good. Why are you capping that off? You're not going to let me have any more? Am I on rations? You look like you were done. No, I'm not done. It's good 4,000 year old water. Do we head back or do we continue? Not back. We still have to drive. We still have to drive a little bit today because we are going to drive out of here because tomorrow night, of course, it'll be way too late for you guys seeing this, but tomorrow night is going to be our November 25th, last Saturday live, so. There's no good signal here. No, the signal sucks. Because the signal sucks, we gotta go. Because we gotta hang out with you guys. Because that stuff's fun. Not that this isn't fun. This is really fun. But do you see the stuff we do for you guys? <laughs> All right, Lorena. What did you think of the trail? Beautiful, but hard. The Comanche Trail goes from where we are here at the. Uh, I think it's Dick Wick group use. I'm not sure. I'll have to check that. But that sounded right because it sounded kind of weird right across from the amphitheater, Pioneer Amphitheater. And we took the Comanche Trail from here down towards or up towards the other camping areas. I would say it is not an easy bike trail. No. I would say more along the lines of I moderate. Like I'm gonna pass out, that's why I'm looking for keys. And uh, Lori's looking for keys already, she just wants to get out of here. But uh, it was a good ride, good workout. And now it's time to load up and get down the road. Oh yeah, my legs, I can, uh, they don't feel right. I will say it is absolutely beautiful out here. Paddle Duro Canyon is worth a, another visit at some point in time, but we hadn't really planned on making this stop, so we're gonna head up the road towards Albuquerque. We're not gonna make Albuquerque tonight, but just beautiful, peaceful, <laughs> except for the wasps flying around my head. All right, time to go in the RV. <laughs> <laughs> that ended that beautiful scene really quickly, didn't it? All right, Lori, I need you to take this camera and shoot out the side window. Can you do that for me? Yes. We are obviously out of Palo Duro Canyon now and back in Amarillo, but Palo Duro was very cool and it was a beautiful place. So as the sun was coming down, it was really, really cool out there. And people were still pouring in, so I'm assuming they do that for sunset, but if you're ever in Amarillo, it's probably a good idea to go out there and visit it. Very cool canyon, very cool area to and a lot 
love the bicycle paths. I love them. Yeah, if you're into mountain biking, it's it's I guess amazing. I just feel like they think to do there. Everybody has bicycles there. Yep. We are now back in downtown Amarillo because we're heading back onto Route 66 again, which is supposed to be Sixth Avenue. We actually picked up a little guidebook there in the gift shop at the Palo Duro Canyon, and that's what it said. So we're gonna follow that. Actually, whenever I ever, what's that? Oh, Route six, Historic Route 66. So we're on Historic Route 66. Cool. Whenever I think of Amarillo or hear Amarillo, I think of this dusty little horse town. People riding around on horses. I don't know. Obviously, not true anymore in modern times, but I think of the Old West when I think of Amarillo. Wow. That brick road is a little rough. This is historic 6th Street between Georgia and Western here in Amarillo. And this is supposed to be full of art galleries and furniture shops and antique shops and things like that. And it's true. And it's true. It's pretty. Yeah, very, very cool. Very busy. Very cool, very busy. Oh wow. There's a lot going on here. Smokey Joe's Cafe. Lots of motorcycles. Well, we've been a couple of days on Route 66 now. We're just here at Sam's Club. Gonna get some supplies and probably gonna stay here for the night. Lorena is telling us that this is a RV friendly Sam's Club, so that's cool. <laughs> the good thing is, is that Home Depot's right there, so I'll be able to get Home Depot Wi-Fi to get some video stuff done. So that's really cool, but uh, tomorrow we'll wake up here in Amarillo, continue our trek on Route 66, and we've got a couple of cool things to see in the morning, but for now, this is where we're gonna end this one, so if it's your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to our channel, stay up to date on all of our travels, and of course, it would be really cool if you like the video, it would be super cool if you click the share button below the video and share this with your friends so that they can be annoyed by us as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. Bye, guys. Time for some supplies. I'm out of cereal. It's not a good thing. I'm not cooking tonight. I don't want to burn down the RV, by the way. <laughs> What is happening, Adventure Nation? It's time to leave Hot Springs, Arkansas and the Gulf of Gamp, that, the, the camp then? Did you say the Gulf? I tried to say Gulfa. Oh, oh okay. okay. What is going on, Adventure Nation? It's time to leave Hot Springs, Arkansas and the Gulf of, Gulf of Springs. See, I wanna say Springs. It's Hot Springs, we're in the Gulf of Gorge. Okay. Gulf of Gorge Campground. Right. At Hot Springs, Arkansas. Then let me, let me try it that way. <laughs>